dramatic chase ends on I-5 as Seattle police surround a crashed SUV. The driver climbs out of the sunroof and stands on top of it. Princess Asensio captured this video while her mother-in-law, Sabrina, was driving behind the wild chase. And new details about this high-speed chase from Capitol Hill that blocked traffic on I-5 as officers tried to corner a man. We're learning that the man behind the wheel is a prominent protester in the former CHOP zone. Police say he was wanted for a felony. Camos Tammy Mutasa is live with video of the chase. Tammy? Yeah, Mary, I talked to Seattle police several times today, and we're working to find out exactly what led up to this chase. I also talked to several protesters at what used to be the CHOP right here, and they tell me that young man had a very big presence, and we actually have video of him during some confrontations here. A dramatic chase ends on I-5 as Seattle police surround a crashed SUV. The driver climbs out of the sunroof and stands on top of it. Princess Asensio captured this video while her mother-in-law, Sabrina, was driving behind the wild chase. And the next thing you know, he jumped off of the car and um, and did this jute ju like that and ran around the two cops that were there and just booked it down the freeway. And he was so fast, I kid you not. Our Como News camera captured video of the man in hand cuffs after police finally caught up with them. It, it was crazy. It was really shocking. Let's put it that way. Police say he was wanted for a felony and ran away from officers near Broadway and Madison, a few blocks from where tensions ran high with protesters after police dismantled the chop zone yesterday. You see a black man trying to corrupt his own people, bro. Protesters we talked to say he goes by Rio and has been a vocal presence at the chop. Yo, get him out of here. Come on, brother, get him out of here, brother. This is him with a bullhorn and red pants on Monday, confronting activist Andre Taylor, while Taylor and Faith leaders visited chop trying to convince protesters to go home after a string of shootings. Como News talked to him at a protest that drew thousands. I have a nine-month-old baby, and I do not want him in 20 years to be standing on the front line. Sabrina says she has a message for him after their close call in the chase. I would say, my brother, we love you. I don't understand what you're going through right now. But we all have stuff we're going through. You could have put, you put a lot of people's lives at, in risk and danger. And back out here, we're waiting to hear back from SPD about what charges that young man might face and again, what felony he was wanted for to begin with that started this chase.